It isn't often that I get to announce that a visitor from another star system might be passing through our solar system right now. This newly discovered object known as A2017U1 appears, if its trajectory is indeed hyperbolic, that it is not gravitationally bound to the sun, meaning that it may have originated in an entirely different star system. The idea that comets and asteroids from other solar systems could enter ours is not a new one, and indeed was expected to eventually happen. We know from models of our own Oort cloud that comets tend to get ejected out of the solar system far more often than get deflected into the inner solar system. In fact, the difference is pretty dramatic. Estimates are that as many as 90 to 99 percent of all comets leaving the Oort cloud are being ejected into deep space. As a result, it seems reasonable to assume that this is the case for other star systems with similar Oort clouds and that lots of comets and also asteroids and planets are wandering interstellar space and could pass through other star systems, including our own. This particular object is thought to be about 160 meters in diameter and somewhat reddish in color. On October 14th, it passed a mere 0.16 AU from Earth, and while that's 15 million miles, it's still quite close on solar system scales. Incidentally, the object was not discovered until October 18th, after it had passed by Earth. If the object is from another star system, it could be a dead comet or an asteroid. If it were an active comet, it would exhibit a coma as the ice it would contain evaporates. It does not have this, so it must either be a comet that was exhausted in another solar system before being ejected, or originated from its original inner solar system as an asteroid. While tantalizing, and one wishes we could capture this object, that would be exceedingly difficult since it's passing through at about 16 miles per second. However, it is possible for Jupiter to capture interstellar comets with its immense gravity, though it's thought to be the only planet that can do this. And, in fact, there are two candidates for this, both Comet Makholtz-1 and Hayakataki C1996b2 have unusual compositions when compared to the solar system's other comets. Capture, however, won't happen with this object, unless of course its orbit is shown to be elliptical, in which case it's from here. If it isn't from here, where might this interstellar object have originated? It would probably be impossible to tell, though it's coming from the direction of Vega, a star made famous by the movie Contact, and for being a very bright night sky star. We also know that Vega has lots of dust and material around it, but we will probably never know for sure. As an aside, it might surprise you, however, that this is actually not the closest interstellar material to Earth. We have it down here on the surface. Material from space, some of it interstellar, rains down on Earth constantly in the form of dust, and suspected interstellar grains were collected by the Stardust spacecraft and returned to Earth. Plus, they are also found in primitive meteorites. Unfortunately, this visitor object won't be around for long, and is already on its way out, and was far too dim to be seen outside of large telescopes anyway. But the study of captured exocomets or asteroids passing through will offer us an opportunity to learn about the chemical compositions of other solar systems and how they compare to our own. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently eyeing a 2017 U1 suspiciously. Where is it from and what does it want? And be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.